em 10 dias, nessa diferença da, da passagem do satélite, eles fizeram 142 hectares, é o equivalente a 142 campos de futebol. They did all this destruction in 10 days? Em 10 dias. Isso eles fazem numa velocidade monstruosa. A gente achou as sementes. Ou seja, eles desmatam, põem fogo e imediatamente plantam capim. E já colocam gado lá dentro. They burn the forest after they cut it. And then they put in cows and they occupy the area like we've been here forever. Exatamente. I can't believe it. Você vê essa estrada? Sim. Isso é como tudo começa. Tudo começa com a estrada de logging road que vai para a floresta. Acesse a lampa. E aí a estrada fica. E aí um cattle rancher chega. E aí ele começa a cortar o restante da árvore. Burna tudo para fazer o cattle. Trees are shooting water from the ground high in the sky, and this goes up into the atmosphere and releases the heat out there, and this radiates to space, and this is very important as a mechanism to cool the planet. They're like air conditioners. Open air conditioning, that's what the forest is. So in other words, if we lose all these trees, we're losing the air conditioning that cools off the whole planet. Not only that. Not only that. No. The trees are soaking up carbon, you know? The pollution that we produce, like uh, carbon dioxide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Burning gasoline in our cars, you release uh, carbon dioxide in the air or burn, burning coal. And the trees use carbon dioxide as a raw material. So the trees are storing all this carbon. So if you come and cut it down and burn it out, does that mean that all that carbon goes up in the air? Absolutely, yeah. So we have to quit deforestation yesterday, not 2020 or 30. Can we all keep eating meat as the rate as we are and survive as a planet? Not if the growth for beef keeps at its current pace. And for the world as a whole, beef consumption will probably double by 2050. That means that the amount of land required for beef is just going to push into those forests in a terrible way. Beef takes 20 times as much land as the same amount of nutrition from beans. When people have the information, they could make better choices, you know? The question is, how could we encourage um, a shift in behavior? We do have to eat less beef. And in fact, if you were to halve your amount of, of beef consumption, that would have a massively positive impact 